Hi everyone, I'm Cohen Heidi, and we're going to be going over some image editing in Blender 2.8. This is Lumpology. Alright, so here's how it's uh, gonna go. So, uh, open Blender 2.8, uh, you know, the works. It doesn't have to be the most recent release of Blender. Anything but the past prior to uh, Blender 2.8 will probably work too. The, the process is kind of the same. Things don't change much in Blender much these days, you know. The good stuff. So anyway, so... We're gonna get rid of everything in the scene, and we're just gonna set up an optimal image editing setup. So here, if we go to UV editing, we have this kind of nice panel where you have the uh, image in one site, and this is all. But then we have texture paint, which is like way better. So we're just gonna use that. So, uh, and you got this kind of like color wheel and all this stuff, and it's just kind of like you know, ooh, image suite, awesome. So, anyways, uh, let's let's make this uh, like awesome, more awesome. So. We're gonna go to. We're gonna hit seven on our number pad, and we're gonna hit Shift A, and we're just gonna add a nice plane onto our scene. So this plane is what we're gonna be uh, doing everything in, and we're gonna hit Shift A, and we're also gonna add a camera. So Control Alt Zero brings the camera to the uh, viewer, and uh, just if we hit Shift F, uh, we can like zoom in a bit, kind of match the image. We'll we'll do that more a little later. So anyways, we, we want we want to make a new image. So we're we're you know up in this little texture paint thing up here we're gonna we're gonna hit the word new and we can like we can we can pick a few things we want to really get a good color grid it's just kind of if you want to max stuff but if we just want to do some nice image editing like a bit of drawing something like that of course we can just do it like this now if you have a trackpad like i do if you want to use it now um uh, i don't actually have mine plugged in right now so i don't know where it's gone i probably put it upstairs because i was i should i should grab it yeah it's fine anyways um common resolutions resolutions you know your display is 1080p usually it might be 4k so you know like that. You can actually uh, simulate things based on 1080p if you like. So if you remember the width, it's th this side. So we're going to say 19, 1920. That's the width that in pixels. Because Blender works in pixels, we don't really do images, you know. It's common stuff. So now we're just 1080 like that. And that's kind of a standard image. If we wanted like a nice uh, 4K image, we could times both of them by two. There you go. That's 4K. But we want, we want 1080p. Five by two. There we go. 1080p. So we're gonna make the background black. This black's good. I like black. And mm, we can actually increase the quality. 32-bit float. We're just gonna do six, uh, the default though. I think by default it's like 16. No problem. So now if we want to make this plane here, which we can we can use the plane to like scale our images in cool ways, and kind of expands the total experience overall. So I'm actually gonna use Cycles render engine because I think Cycles is like uh, first of all, what is that? And second of all. Honestly, what is that? Cool. Anyways, um, cycles. So we're gonna use cycles. Uh, GPU compute because I'm. That's what I'm. We don't, you don't worry about these settings really. It's your own thing. You can do what you want with them. Um, uh, but in this little tab here, we have all the stuff. So this is a 1080p image. We've got 1080p image here. So now we need to scale our plane to match. So um, let's see. Hmm. How can we do this? 1.920 might be a good size. And we say this 80. And now we've got a, kind of matched it. So now if we just uh, hit tab, U, and we say uh, project from view bounds, and we'll go here, uh, this, and we're gonna go to, we're gonna do an image, texture. I, I like to use uh, diffuse BSD. It's kind of a prototypical like thing in cycles. So when we say image texture, like so, and voila. Uh, look dev, it's black, what do you, what were you expecting would happen? Um, now, I'm gonna go with this, and we're just gonna zoom out a bit. Match the borders a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, we can align it once we're actually doing our drawing. But anyways, let's do some drawing. So N makes this go away, let's uh, drag it out over here. And, um, we can, uh, maximize the area if we like and if, once we're done maximizing there we can just hit back to previous um, yeah so anyways things we can uh, do with this so scrolling in doing this and here's our stuff let's do some painting you can name it image it's quite nice so here are your options in blender you got mix you got all these things alpha Alpha lets you control your alpha. Just, just make sure you render it correctly because if you render as a JPEG all your alphas are gone but if you render as a PNG it, it'll stay so so uh, let's let's do like this this blue color it's nice strength we can match the strength if you have a pen just this this detects and set uh, pressure so if you have a, a nice uh, pen for your um, track 
color board you can like touch and make the size and this would do radius so it would make a bigger circle a smaller circle anyways uh drawing you want to draw with this Woo! draw i'm drawing like this you can actually do some really cool stuff with this actually i make uh i make little like uh figures like this you can like laminate them and stuff and make cool stuff i actually wrote i did a book in blender uh children's book it's releasing sometime someday um and um yeah so let's uh, let's actually let's let's add something. So here's here's a here's a base. Uh, we can scale it up a bit here. Whoa! Soft edges, perfect strength. Don't have to worry about those soft edges. But I mean, you still have the soft edges, but that's fine. Like this is this is what we do. Anyways, we can add to it. Here's a here's an add. Uh, hue kind of reduces it actually. In this case, subtract. There you go. And vivid light cool stuff you can do with that pin light uh, pin lights are actually my f one some of my favorite things are pin lights so uh, first of all you can do some cool things but if I just use this corner like right over here first of all the quality in blender is absolutely horrendous like I can't make Photoshop look this good like look at this color balance but like look at look at this pin light it's this greatest thing greatest thing in existence because it adds this like dark barrier in the center that you can like go out from so because if, if I like make a new uh, a new image uh, from the same settings, and I do like this, and I just use pin light, I do maximum strength pin light, and I do like this. Look, look at that! Ain't that so cool? Cool things you can, you can do with that, you know, cool stuff like that. Uh, if you want to match colors, because remember, not everything can be printed. Uh, if you have like a copy of Photoshop or something, you can grab like the the, the tool tips from Photoshop and like that. And then, because let's be real, drawing in Blender way cooler than Photoshop, no question about it. You can also do animation in Blender, which is like, hey, who doesn't want to do animation in Blender? Uh, you also have things like the grease pencil, uh, but we, we won't cover that in this. We might make a part two where we, where we do the grease pencil and so on. 2D animation blender, totally optional. Like, let, let's be real. Like, who, who, 2D animation blender? What? So you can if you want to darken this a bit. Here we go. Now you have your like madness, weird like wiggly structure things. It's pretty cool, eh? So uh, let me see. What is this? See. Such cool things you can do. Uh, let's let's erase the alpha. Erase alpha. So you know that like checkerboard thing. Look, now it's a transparent image. Everything that's back here doesn't exist. If you want to re-add the alpha, just uh, add alpha. It'll add this nice white plane. Merges with the alpha quite nicely. Good stuff. If you're a texture editor, this is like prime content. It's really freaking easy. So um, yeah, if you want to save, uh, what's a good way to save? So back to previous image. Save, here your save option, save as. You can set your format down here. Uh, JPEG, PNG, you like compression, you want to reduce that. 16, color depth, better stuff, the more the better, right? So uh, black, black and white, red, green, blue, red, blue, uh, green, blue, alpha, that includes that transparent background so that your textures can look oh so pretty when you put them in like a game or something. Or you can just draw, you know, draw good too. Um, and if you want to set up a mask, you can do that too. Um, texture. This allows you to draw tiled uh, textures onto your image, which is uh, super cool. And uh, yeah, uh, this is going to conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is how you like do stuff like that in Blender. And uh, oh, so cool stuff like yes, uh, ain't that uh, ain't that cool, right? Uh, if you want to set up this uh, a bit more down here, let's see. Where's the material? We have material here somewhere, don't we? Oh yeah, we're, on, we're sucking the camera. Camera. So now look at the plane. Where's the material? Option 50 to 20. Yeah, there it is. Uh, suck the image. Image. Oh, look at that. Ain't that cool? And you can render it as a as a render. Like you can add all kinds of fancy quality stuff to it. Like look. Now I want to render it. Say render. Render image. Voila. It's a bit dark, but you you have to play with the lighting a bit. Like add a node, emission node. Make it look pretty good. Plus, you can get way better quality because you can have like green effects and stuff through the the cycles uh, setup. It's kind of cool. Anyways, welcome to image editing in Blender 2.8.